Traditionally, 3D modeling and computer-aided design, or CAD, are done with a mouse, keyboard, and a flat, touchless screen. However, augmented reality, virtual reality, and hand tracking are emerging as inexpensive alternatives and can be superior for quickly manipulating many degrees of freedom, though they are also typically less precise than a mouse. A multimodal system that integrates both the desktop and augmented reality approaches could combine the advantages of each. Introducing DualCAD, a system that allows the user to switch between a traditional GUI desktop and an augmented reality interface. Our prototype comprises two subsystems. The first one, codenamed Desktop CAD, has a traditional style CAD user interface. The second subsystem, codenamed RCAD for Augmented Reality CAD, uses a head-mounted display made by Meta to provide a stereoscopic, head-coupled view of the 3D world being modeled. Desktop CAD allows the mouse and keyboard to be used to create simple 3D primitives, to edit the appearance of primitives, to transform the primitives with the help of 3D widgets, and to group or fuse primitives to create more complex models. Unfortunately, a 2D mouse is limiting, and a flat screen is not very immersive, so whenever the user wants, they can click the RCAD button, and the 3D scene is transferred to the RCAD subsystem and displayed on the head-mounted display. Any modifications made to the scene in Desktop CAD are applied to the augmented reality view as soon as we click the RCAD button again. With augmented reality, vision-based tracking of the hands suffers during occlusions. To get around this problem, we propose interacting via a smartphone whose position and orientation are tracked in 3D. The phone displays a contextual radial menu where all commands are accessible through a maximum of two swipes. The menu provides visual feedback for beginners, while experts can draw gestures without looking. With the radial menu, the user can create a primitive, which can then be selected by pointing at it. As before, the object can be edited at will. Certain operations allow the user to sketch or draw handwritten text. This is easier to do with the smartphone's stylus than it would be with a mouse. RCAD enables simultaneous use of both hands. The user can unambiguously select the translation tool with one hand, while moving the selected object with the other hand. When performing rotations, the smartphone becomes a real-world physical interface prop. Rotating the device produces the same rotation on the selected object. A Paul Hemus Patriot motion tracker was used to obtain the position and orientation information for the head-mounted display and smartphone. We leverage this information during scaling transformations. Moving the device along one of the model's axes will rescale it along that axis. The system also allows expert users to perform six degree of freedom translation and rotation in a single fluid movement. The user may also perform what we call direct transformation by selecting any of the previous transformations and then initiating it by moving the smartphone near an object, causing the object to snap to the phone. This is useful for applying multiple transformations of the same type on different objects. The user can also use the smartphone as a wand that can be used to select objects as well as translate them from afar, resulting in less arm fatigue. We also introduce a novel way to create primitives that leverages the smartphone's flat screen. First, the user draws a polygon with the stylus. Then, sliding a finger extrudes a mesh of the desired size. Finally, the object is positioned in the scene and detached with a tap. It is also possible for a user to grab a 3D object with the phone, use the finger to rotate part of the object's surface into view, and then use the stylus to draw on the object. Once again, the object can be positioned in the scene and detached with a tap. The user may control the scene with the smartphone's touchscreen, enabling greater precision than with hand tracking. When the user is done with RCAD, they can switch back to Desktop CAD with a single command and complete tasks that are more suited to a desktop GUI, such as inputting text, before saving the scene.